let's talk a little bit about what's in a cell factory. First, there's an electrode process where the active materials are coated into films onto foils. Um, then those foil coated foils are wound in the, in the winding process we just talked about, where if you do have tabs, you have to start and stop a lot. Um, then the, the jelly roll is assembled into the can, sealed, uh, filled with electrolyte, and then sent to formation, where the cell is charged for the first time, and, and where the sort of the electrochemistry is set and the quality of the cell is verified. And we set out at every step of this process to try to take that inspiration we just shaw, showed and, and think about how we make those processes fundamentally better and more scalable. And one of the most important processes is where it all begins, the wet process of the, uh, of the electrode coating. And I, just to give you all a sense of scale, I'm gonna walk through what's in that wet process. You've got mixing where the, the powders are mixed with either a water or a solvent, solvents for, for the cathode. Um, that mix then goes into a large coat and dry oven where the slurry is coated onto the foil, you know, huge ovens, tens of meters long, dried, uh, and that solvent then has to be recovered. You can see the solvent recovery system. And then finally, the coated foil is compressed to the final density. And when you're looking at this, you're like, wow, that's a lot of equipment for one step, especially when you consider that little speck next to the coating oven is a person. This is serious, serious iron involved in making batteries. Wouldn't it be great if we could skip that solvent step, which is one of those dig a ditch and then fill it kind of things where you put the solvent in and then take it out and recycle it, and just go straight to dr uh, uh, dry mix to coat. And that's what the dry process really is about. And in the most basic form, you can see it here on a bench top. Literally, powder in, into film. As simple as that. I mean, it's hard, actually, uh, just to be clear. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, if, if this was easy, everyone would do it. So the, it's not like a dry coating electrode is, is actually uh, easy. It's, it, it's, it's actually very hard to do what appears to be a simple thing. Um, and and it's, it's worth noting, like, um, you know, we did acquire Maxwell. as like a little over a year ago, I guess. Um, and, you know, it's, it's certainly a good company and everything, but the, the, the dry coating they had was like, it's, it's like sort of, I would call proof of concept. Uh, since the acquisition, we've, we've actually uh, revved the, the machine that does dry coating four times. So we're in re revision four post-acquisition of the machine. Um, and there's still a lot of work to do. So I would not say this is like completely in the bag. It's still a lot of work to do. Um, and, you know, as you, go, as you scale, go from like bench top to lab to uh, pilot to volume production, uh, there are actually major issues that you encounter at, at every level. It's not like, you know, you, you make something work on your, on your bench and bingo, now you can make a bazillion of, of it. It's, Absolutely. It's insanely difficult to scale up. Um, yeah. And, but, and, and, yeah. But if you do scale it up, yeah. what, what you saw before becomes this. Yeah. So you can see the motivation. A 10 times reduction in footprint, a 10 times reduction in energy, and a massive reduction in investment. Um, but as Elon was saying, simple is hard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be clear, I would like to not say that we, right now it's just totally working. It's, it's, it's close to working, <laughs> but it's not, even now, it, at the pilot plant level, it is close to working. Well, I, I can't, I, it's fair to say it probably it does work, but with not a good, not a high yield. Yeah. So we're still ironing out the kinks, but we've made tens of thousands yeah. of cells, thousands of kilometers sure. of electrode. I mean, we are on the fourth generation of the equipment, so we've learned a lot along the, along the way. Yeah. I mean, it is super demanding because every atom has its place if you want to deliver the energy density and the cycle life and the supercharging. Yeah. But we're, but we're, we're confident that we will get there, but it yeah. will be a lot of work along the way. There's a clear path to success, but a ton of work between here and there. Yeah. So, uh, but this is a, a really profound improvement. Again, for people that know battery uh, manufacturing, this is, a, this is gigantic. Um, we'll probably be on, on machine revision six or seven by the time we do large scale production. Um, the, the rate at which the machines are being improved is, is extremely rapid. Like literally every three or four months is a new rev. 